So today I wanted to show a D-Lid tool. And so this D-Lid tool is called the D-Lid Master. And it's made by a company called uh, Xiaomi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's uh, S-I-O-M-I. Um, and it's a little bit different. It's pretty much universal uh, for Intel CPUs. Um, and it lets you deal with basically any modern Intel CPU. So 1150, 2011, uh, 2066 can all be deleted with this. And it's a little bit different than a regular delete tool. That being something like this here, where you just push the IHS off of the uh, PCB. And then a bunch of screws and uh, a little ratchet. So it's basically everything you need to actually delid the CPU. Um, so I'm gonna go put this uh, together the rest of the way, get a CPU in here, and we can uh, compare it to uh, a regular old delid tool. So here we have our CPU. I'm just gonna use a uh, dead 6700K, so it doesn't doesn't actually work. So if this Delid tool doesn't work very well. We uh, don't actually ruin anything. Um, so as you can tell, this is quite a bit different than, say, something like this, a regular Delid tool that requires a little bit of uh, assembly and uh, figuring out how it works. First off, looks like we're putting these screws in here. I have to actually read the instructions because it's not uh, entirely apparent how this thing is supposed to be put together. Alright, so it looks like that one is put together. And it looks like this here is where the CPU actually goes in. Okay, so it looks like this is the relitting part. So you put that down and you screw it in and it has a little pad here. That's how you can uh, put the uh, IHS back on with uh, adhesive and such. And this is the actual delitting tool here. Okay, so the CPU was delitted. Everything's perfectly fine with it. It works really well, this delit tool. Um, and this is really nice because it allows you to have one tool for multiple sockets. And uh, I thought this was a really cool tool to show uh, because you always see these ones, these little ones here. You never see a uh, big giant one. 
Uh, a downside of this is that it is more complicated to use. You have to adjust the sides here and uh, adjust the, um, the red bits here. So it, it does require a bit of setup, um, but it works and it works well. It does its job well. Um, as for the relitting tool, I usually don't relid the CPUs that I I delid. So for the relid tool, um, it works kind of the same as the delid tool here, um, in that you have to adjust these red bits. So you, you just unscrew these screws, adjust the red bits, and you just place your CPU there, and. Uh, Put your IHS on, um, then you have this metal plate here, and this is what actually holds on the IHS, or what it holds it in place. So you just put that on there, and uh, again you adjust the screws here. two screws on each side you adjust and you just put this lid on with these included thumb screws like that and tighten down the center bolt right here and it just holds the IHS in place and so this kit is about a hundred dollars um, and I'll include a link down below where if you want to purchase this kit. Um, it is a lot more than, say, Durbauer's tool here, or similar tools like this. Um, but the, like I said, this does pretty much any Intel socket. But like I said, there's a lot more complicated setup involved in using it. And um, when I got it, it was together. but. All the screws, um, well not all of them, but a lot of them were not attached. So I had to figure out based on pictures where these screws went. Um, so that's not very fun, but um, it works out fine. The instructions are a bit lacking uh, because the instructions only cover X299 CPUs. Um, so the instructions use a much bigger CPU. So it wasn't immediately evident that I had to move these um, red bits here. Um, but this is a really cool delay tool I wanted to show. And uh, like I said, I'm going to put the link in the description below. And uh, if you want to just check it out, please go ahead. So if you like this video, please leave a like or comment down below and subscribe. And until next time.